What's good YouTube, the truth here, and I'm back with another boxing video. And for today's video, man, y'all better not flame me, but I think it deserves a response for how big and how much effort these guys are putting in. YouTube boxing. KSI versus Swarms versus some other dude. And you know what? For a while, I'll be honest, I was a bit embarrassed about talking about this. But you know what I'm saying? I'm saying F it, man. F it, bro. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it 1,000 because it's the truth. Here. I'm going to keep it 1,000. I watch them. I watch, I watch YouTube boxing. And I find it entertaining. I'm excited for today. Yeah. I fucking said it. Bro. A lot of people in boxing, they want, uh, a lot of people talk about boxing, they want to be like, uh, calling it a disgrace, blah, blah, blah. I'll be honest, bro, like, I've been, okay, it might be a little different for me, because I've watched these guys, like, growing up, so I know them, and it's like, I'm seeing them fight and learn boxing, and it's entertaining to me. It just is, because, like, certain fights in real boxing we just know what's gonna happen when you're like a new like when you're new to boxing and you're like these guys and you're just entertainers and you're learning there's this unpredictability to them because you can't you can't predict it unless it's like take paul fighting a freaking like someone way smaller than him than what he usually does you're not gonna know who's gonna win like it's usually like, it's so like unpredictable because they're not professionals. You don't know which one's gonna get hurt and then cower. You don't know which one's gonna uh, show hard. You don't know which one's gonna quit. Like, you don't know, man. You don't know how they could react when they get punched in the face. And, they, and some of them don't really know what they're walking into. So it's like, it's entertaining to see, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I can't, I'm not gonna hate on them, man. Especially KSI, man. Grew up watching the kid watching the guy and I think he's getting better as a boxer and I'm excited to see him so I'm gonna start off with the first prediction I'm gonna say KSI versus Swarms I can see him giving him some trouble in like the beginning because I'll be honest when you spar like when you fight like guys you don't know how to fight and you're somewhat more like intelligent when it comes to uh, being fundamental, uh, the new guys can give you trouble the first couple rounds because, like, they are just so awkward and they just like <laughs> the way they react to punches, they'll like frill their arms. So it's like sometimes it's hard to get a good read on them, or they might get like a little awkward shot in. Like, so that's my thoughts on it. But I don't think Swarms is going three rounds, I don't think he has the cardio for that. And honestly, I'm expecting good things from KSI. He's not as good as I think he says he is, but he seems to have some good power. That's my guess. He reminds me a lot of Wilder, if you ask me. He has like um, not really good technique, and they kind of they kind of fight. I don't know, man. They fight similar, man. No disrespect to Wilder, they just they just fight similar, you know. And they just like rely somewhat on their power, but we'll see how that goes. Honestly, I think KSI wins the second one just as maybe easier because the dude i know he's a pro but it's more fundamental so it's like it's not going to be as awkward for him but yeah that one has two scenarios two for one it's easier because the guy looks like shit. but two you got to realize the reason we say this we usually say this when it comes to uh newer prospects Cause we're like, yo, these guys got backgrounds. They're gonna destroy this guy. KSI is not a standout prospect or anything. He's a regular YouTuber who hasn't been boxing for three years. So to say that he would like demolish him, we don't know, man. I've always said with Jake Paul, I thought he would go life or death with a journeyman. Cause it's just not the same as the guys you're fighting, bro. Some of them might not go away with one shot. So some of them might have, they might be a little sturdy. They might be a little um, battle tested. They have experience on them. Like some of them, 
some of them guys might, they might get you. Like, I don't know, like, you might go life or death with them. I'm just saying, like, to be honest. Unless it's just like a complete bum. But that's how I see that fight going. Deji, I'll be quick with it. Deji, eh, he's done, bro. For, I'm not falling for the fourth one, bro. You lost. You lost, what, three times? But I'm not falling for the fourth one. You didn't get, you lost me in the second one. The second one, I said, he's done. Didn't give me the third one. Pussy looks hungry. Screeching like a little chihuahua. <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to be a wolf, but yeah, you know, he, he has this whole thing going on. His ego is at an all-time high. His confidence is at an all-time high. He's a lot bigger than Deji. I think he might stop Deji, I'll be honest. I think I think this will be the guy who finally gets him out of there, similar to Alex Wasabi style. And um, who else? The one I'm actually looking forward to the most is Slim versus Face Temple. Now that is gonna be crazy skill. It's gonna be a good ass fight. Man, you got Temper. He's long, rangy, 6'5 for what? For shells, what Slim said, for getting shit off shells. He is, he impressed me. He's not that good, like fundamentally he's not that good. But yo, he, he's, most people like when they first fight, they get stuck in the mud. They're like, kind of like slow on their punches. They don't really, they're not that confident in their punches. Whoa, he, that, that stage like kind of paralyzes you a bit. So you're like, you're not as good as you were in sparring. But dude, he had great timing and he knew how to just go in and out, in and out, in and out. I was impressed. He had like good timing. Like he was just, he was just throwing and then all of them bitches was landing. It was like, I was shocked. I was like, yo, this guy's not new. Maybe it's the height, but like, what's his name? Kenny, bro, he looked the, he looked the part, but he was not the part. <laughs> but yeah, I got, Slim, I, I want to say slim, but like I feel like the two weeks, it's not enough time for him, but uh, it's, it's a tough one, man. I think he's more skilled than temper. It's, uh, it's a tough one. Uh, that's a 50 fight, man. Two weeks, I would go slim, but uh, two weeks notice, is, it's it's tough, man. He doesn't look the best shape either. Um, Last fight that I actually care about. Um... Kenny versus Fei Sunset. Now that is gonna be a wipeout for not Mr. Look the part, pad, do pads the part, talk the part, King Kenny. No, King Kenny's getting fucked up. I'm saying Sensei by stoppage. Now let me tell you something about Sensei. I feel like that dude, he's a really nice guy. All the situations we've seen him with sparring KSI, all this other shit, um, sparring Gib, whatever. I feel like he's being nice. I feel like he holds back a lot. I see him when he's on. He looks like he's holding back against these guys because their fights are coming up. He wants, to, he, he he thinks above boxing. He doesn't think about ego. So. I think he was waiting for a guy that he could just go loose on where he doesn't have to like build the other guy's confidence up to to uh, to help him out as a friend. So this Kenny guy, I feel like he's the sacrifice. I feel like he's the body that um, Sensei was looking to take. So, hey man, don't be surprised if it's a wash because dude has a lot of experience on him. Uh, they already covered it, saying it's fair, saying how he focuses on MMA and he focuses on boxing. So there's no, you can't say it's not fair, but wink, wink, it's unfair. He's gonna fuck him up. But yeah, man, that's my prediction for the fight night. Oh uh, man, I'm actually really hyped to see this shit. It's perfect, cause it's Eastern time, it's perfect all night. It's like, what, five o'clock? It's perfect, I, I, I gotta wait till 12 to see it. But I'm gonna check that out. We'll see next day. We'll see what my predictions are right. But um, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. More content on the way. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.